You've just opened your eyes. It's still dark outside and the world is hushed. You glance at the clock. It's somewhere between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Now, most people would turn over and fall back asleep, but not you. You're different. You're here because you're seeking more from life. You're ready to embrace change. And guess what? You've just discovered a golden opportunity. That early morning wake up isn't a burden, it's a blessing. It's your body and mind signaling that in these pre-dawn hours, you have the chance to reshape your life. How? By doing three straightforward but impactful things that I'll share with you. But first, let's explore why this time is so unique. Between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., your brain is in a special state. It's more open to new ideas, more imaginative, more in touch with your subconscious. It's like a blank canvas waiting for you to create your dreams upon it. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but I'm not a morning person or I need my sleep. I understand, I used to feel that way too, but here's the reality. Your habits shape your life. By altering this one habit, by embracing these early wake-ups instead of resisting them, you can ignite a chain reaction that will transform every aspect of your life. So, are you ready? Are you willing to step out of your comfort zone and into a new way of being? Great! Let's dive into the three things you should do when you wake up between these early hours. First, meditate. I'm not just talking about sitting quietly with your eyes closed trying to empty your mind, I'm referring to a specific kind of meditation that rewires your brain and shifts your energy field. Here's how to do it. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths. As you inhale, feel your body expand. As you exhale, release all tension. Now focus on your heart. Feel it beating in your chest and imagine it glowing with a warm golden light. This light begins to spread throughout your body, filling your lungs, your stomach, your arms and legs. It reaches the top of your head and the tips of your toes. You are now a being of pure, radiant energy. Next, envision how you want your day to unfold. Not just the activities, but how you want to feel. Confident, energized, loving, creative. Whatever it is, really immerse yourself in those emotions. Let them flow over you like a wave. Now here's the key. While holding on to these feelings, start visualizing your ideal future. See yourself living the life you've always dreamed of. Maybe you're on a stage, sharing your message with thousands, or in perfect health, running along a beautiful beach, or surrounded by loved ones, feeling complete peace. Whatever your vision, make it as vivid and detailed as you can. Use all your senses. What do you see, hear, smell? How does your body feel in this moment? Hold on to this vision for as long as you can. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. The longer, the better. You're embedding it in your subconscious mind, changing your brain's neural pathways, and creating new patterns aligned with your desired reality. Remember, your thoughts shape your reality. By consistently practicing this meditation, you're training your mind to focus on what you want rather than what you don't. You're raising your energetic frequency to align with your desires. And when that happens, extraordinary things begin to unfold. You might find yourself having sudden insights or ideas, opportunities might appear unexpectedly, and people who can help you reach your goals might come into your life. This isn't magic or wishful thinking, it's science. Quantum physics tells us that everything is energy, including our thoughts and emotions. By consciously directing your energy through meditation, you're influencing the quantum field around you, drawing experiences that match your new vibration. Now I know some of you might be doubtful. Maybe you've tried meditation before and didn't see results. But here's the thing, consistency is crucial. You wouldn't go to the gym once and expect to be in perfect shape, right? The same principle applies here. This meditation is like a workout for your mind and energy field. The more you do it, the stronger you become. Here's a little secret. The best time to practice this meditation is right when you wake up, between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Why? Because at this time, the barrier between your conscious and subconscious mind is thinner. Your brain is still in a theta wave state, 
which is linked to deep relaxation and increased suggestibility. It's like having a direct line to your subconscious, allowing you to reprogram it more effectively. So that's the first thing you should do in those early hours when you wake up. Meditate, connect with your heart, and picture your ideal future. Feel the emotions as if you are already living that life. Practice this regularly and notice how your external reality begins to change to match your inner state. Now let's move on to the second thing you should do. Move your body. I'm not talking about an intense workout. I'm referring to gentle, mindful movement that gets your energy flowing and wakes up your system. This could be yoga, tai chi, qigong, or even some simple stretches. The key is to move with purpose and awareness. Start by standing up and taking a few deep breaths. Feel your feet grounded to the earth, imagining roots growing from them and anchoring you. Then slowly start to move. Reach your arms up to the sky, feeling your spine extend. Twist gently from side to side, allowing your arms to swing freely. Roll your shoulders, circle your hips, bend and straighten your knees. As you move, pay attention to how your body feels. Notice any areas of tightness or discomfort, but don't judge these sensations. Just observe them. Breathe into these areas, imagining your breath as a healing light dissolving any blockages. Now here's where it gets interesting. As you move, focus on your energy centers or chakras. Visualize a spinning wheel of light at the base of your spine. As you move, imagine this wheel spinning faster and glowing brighter. Feel the energy rising up your spine, activating each chakra as it moves upward. When it reaches your heart, pause for a moment, place your hands over your heart, and take a few deep breaths. Feel love and gratitude flow through you, sending this energy out into the world to everyone and everything around you. Continue moving, letting the energy rise to your throat, your third eye, and finally to the crown of your head. Imagine a beam of light shooting out from the top of your head, connecting you to the infinite wisdom of the universe. As you finish your movement practice, stand still for a moment and feel the energy coursing through your body. You are now fully awake, fully alive, fully connected to yourself and the world around you. This movement practice accomplishes several important things. First, it gets your blood circulating, delivering oxygen and nutrients to every cell in your body, helping you wake up naturally without the need for caffeine or other stimulants. Second, it releases endorphins, those feel-good chemicals that enhance your mood and reduce stress. Starting your day in this positive state sets the tone for everything that follows. And perhaps most importantly, it helps you get out of your head and into your body. Many of us spend our days lost in thought, worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. This movement practice grounds you in the present moment and helps you develop body awareness, which is crucial for manifesting your desires. Why? Because manifestation isn't just about thinking positive thoughts. It's about aligning your entire being, body, mind, and spirit with what you want to create. By moving your body mindfully, you are literally embodying your intentions, sending a clear signal to the universe. This is who I am. This is what I'm ready for. And here's another benefit. This type of gentle, mindful movement helps balance your autonomic nervous system. It activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for rest, digestion, and healing. This counteracts the effects of stress and helps your body function at its best. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but I'm not flexible enough for yoga, or I don't know how to do Qigong. Don't worry, the specific form of movement isn't as important as the intention behind it. Start with what feels right for you. Even just standing and swaying gently while focusing on your breath can be incredibly effective. The key is to make it a daily practice. Just like with meditation, consistency is essential. Over time, you'll start to notice changes. You might find yourself standing taller, breathing more deeply, and moving through life with greater grace and ease. You might become more in tune with your body's signals, instinctively knowing what you need to stay balanced and healthy. And remember, this isn't just about physical well-being. By starting your day with mindful movement, you're setting a powerful intention. You're telling yourself and the universe that you're dedicated to growth, transformation, and becoming the best version of yourself. 
That's the second thing you should do when you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Move your body, connect with your energy, and embody your intentions. Do this regularly and watch how it transforms not only your mornings, but your entire life. Now let's move on to the third and final thing you should do during these early morning hours. Learn something new. I'm not talking about mindlessly scrolling through social media or watching random videos. I'm talking about deliberate, focused learning that stretches your mind and challenges your beliefs. Your brain is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. And like a muscle, it needs variety to grow. By exposing yourself to fresh ideas and information, you're creating new neural pathways, literally rewiring your brain for growth and innovation. But here's the thing. It's not just about accumulating information. It's about integrating that knowledge into your existing framework and using it to create new connections and insights. This is where the magic happens. So how do you do this? Start by choosing a topic that genuinely excites you. It could be related to your career, a personal interest, or something entirely new that you've always wanted to explore. The key is that it fascinates you and makes you eager to learn more. Now, dedicate at least 30 minutes to focus study. This might involve reading a book, watching an educational video, or listening to a podcast. But don't just passively take in the information. Engage with it actively. Take notes, ask questions, and look for connections to things you already know. As you learn, pay attention to your emotional state. Notice how you feel when you come across a new idea or insight. Does it inspire you, challenge you, or make you curious to know more? These emotional reactions are important. They're signals from your subconscious mind, revealing what resonates with your deepest self. Here's a powerful technique to make your learning even more effective. After you've studied for a while, take a few minutes to teach what you've learned to an imaginary student. Explain the concepts in your own words, as if you're trying to help someone else grasp them. This method, known as the Feynman Technique, not only helps cement your understanding, but also identifies any areas where your knowledge might be unclear. Now, here's where it gets really fascinating. As you're learning and processing new information, start to think about how it relates to your goals and dreams. How can you apply this knowledge to bring you closer to your ideal life? What new possibilities does this open up for you? For instance, if you're learning about neuroscience and discover the concept of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to change and adapt throughout life, how might this change your perspective on your potential for growth and change? How could you use this understanding to break old habits or acquire new skills? Or perhaps you're studying quantum physics and learn about the observer effect, the idea that observation itself affects the phenomenon being observed. How might this alter your understanding of reality and your role in shaping it? How could you use this knowledge to become more intentional about where you direct your attention in life? The point is to make your learning active and personal. Don't just collect information. Use it to transform your understanding of yourself and the world. Another benefit of this early morning learning is that it sets a tone of growth and curiosity for the rest of your day. Instead of starting your day reactively, checking emails, responding to messages, putting out fires, you're starting proactively. You're nourishing your mind with new ideas and possibilities, which can have a profound impact on your mood, energy levels, and overall outlook on life. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but I'm not a morning person. I can't focus that early. And that's perfectly fine. Remember, we're talking about the hours between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. This isn't about forcing yourself to wake up at the crack of dawn if that doesn't come naturally to you. It's about making the most of those times when you naturally wake up in the early hours. And here's the interesting part. Your brain is actually primed for learning during these hours. Your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for higher order thinking and decision making, is most active in the morning. By engaging in focused learning during these hours, you're taking advantage of your brain's natural rhythms. Plus, there's something special about learning in the quiet of the early morning. The world is still asleep. There are no distractions or demands 
on your time and attention. It's just you and the knowledge you're exploring, creating a unique opportunity for deep focus and insight. So that's the third thing you should do when you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., learn something new, engage your mind, expand your understanding of yourself and the world around you. Do this consistently and witness how it transforms not just your knowledge base, but your entire outlook on life. Now let's bring it all together. Picture starting your day like this. You naturally wake up between 3 and 5 a.m. Instead of rolling over and drifting back to sleep, you get up, sit quietly, and meditate, connecting with your heart and visualizing your ideal future. You then move your body mindfully, awakening your energy and embodying your intentions. Finally, you dedicate time to learning, expanding your mind and making new connections. By the time the rest of the world is waking up, you've already accomplished three powerful actions to transform your life. You've aligned your energy, activated your body and expanded your mind. You're not starting your day in reaction mode, you're starting it in creation mode. And here's the beautiful part. These three practices reinforce and amplify each other. Meditation helps you focus during your learning time. Movement energizes your body and clears your mind from meditation. And learning gives you new ideas to visualize and new ways to understand your experiences. Together, these practices create a positive feedback loop. Each day you become more aware, more energized, more knowledgeable. You're literally rewiring your brain and reshaping your energy field. As you change internally, your external reality begins to shift to reflect that change. You might start noticing synchronicities, meaningful coincidences that guide you toward your goals. You might find yourself having breakthrough ideas or insights or attracting people and opportunities that align with your new energy and intentions. But here's the key. You must be consistent. This isn't about doing these things once or twice and expecting miracles. It's about making them a daily practice, showing up for yourself day after day, even when you don't feel like it, especially when you don't feel like it. Transformation isn't always comfortable. Growth often requires stepping out of your comfort zone. There will be days when you'd rather stay in bed, when meditation feels challenging, when movement seems like a chore, or when learning feels overwhelming. But those are the days when these practices are most crucial. Those are the days when you have the opportunity to break through old patterns and establish new ones. Those are the days when you prove to yourself that you're committed to your growth and transformation. And let me assure you, the rewards are worth it. When you consistently align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your desires, amazing things start to happen. You begin to live in a state of flow where opportunities seem to arise effortlessly you become more resilient, better able to navigate challenges with grace and ease. You experience more joy, more love, and more fulfillment. But don't just take my word for it, try it yourself. The next time you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. instead of going back to sleep, give these three practices a try. Meditate, move, and learn. Do this for a week, a month, or a year and see how it changes you. See how it transforms your life. Remember, you are the creator of your reality. Every thought, every emotion, every action shapes your future. By consciously directing your energy and attention during these early morning hours, you're taking control of that creative power. You're no longer at the mercy of your circumstances or past conditioning. You're actively shaping your destiny. By waking up early and engaging in these practices, you're joining a community of high achievers throughout history. Many of the world's most successful and influential people, from artists to entrepreneurs to world leaders, have been early risers. They understand the power of those quiet morning hours. But this isn't about following someone else's routine. It's about creating a practice that works for you, one that resonates with your unique energy and goals. The specifics might look different for each person. Maybe you meditate for 10 minutes, or maybe for an hour. Maybe your movement practice is yoga, or maybe it's dancing around your living room. Maybe you learn by reading books, or maybe by watching educational videos. The important thing is that you're showing up for yourself, 
making a commitment to your growth and transformation. You're telling the universe, I'm ready for more. I'm ready to become the best version of myself. Now let's talk about what might happen as you begin this practice. Initially, it might feel challenging. Your body and mind might resist the change. That's normal. Anytime we try to establish a new habit, we encounter resistance. It's your brain's way of conserving energy by sticking to familiar patterns. But if you can push through that initial resistance, something incredible happens. Your body and mind start to adapt. You might find yourself naturally waking up during those early hours, feeling refreshed and energized. You might begin to look forward to your morning routine, craving that time of calm and focus. And the benefits extend far beyond those early hours. You may notice having more energy throughout the day, becoming more focused and productive, and handling stress and challenges with greater ease. You could find yourself making healthier choices without even thinking about it, eating better, moving more, and connecting more deeply with the people around you. Why? Because when you start your day by honoring yourself, by aligning your energy, moving your body, and nourishing your mind, you naturally want to maintain that self-care throughout the day. And here's something truly exciting. As you continue this practice, you might start to experience what I call supernatural abilities. No, I'm not talking about flying or reading minds. I mean abilities that feel supernatural because they go far beyond what you're used to, like the ability to stay calm and centered amid chaos, to tap into your intuition and make decisions with confidence, or to manifest your desires with apparent ease. These aren't magical powers. They are the natural result of consistently aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions, raising your energy, expanding your awareness, breaking free from limiting beliefs, and stepping into your true potential. Now, I want to address something important. Some of you might be thinking, but what if I can't wake up that early? What if my schedule doesn't allow for it? That's a valid concern. We all have different circumstances, responsibilities, and natural rhythms. The specific time isn't as crucial as the intention and consistency. If you can't wake up between 3 and 5 a.m., that's perfectly fine. The key is to find a time that works for you, a time when you won't be interrupted, when you can focus fully on yourself and your growth. Maybe that's 6 a.m., 7 a.m., or even in the evening after the kids are asleep. The important thing is that you're dedicating time for these practices, making your personal growth and transformation a priority. Because here's the truth, if you don't make time for your evolution, everything else will take up that time. Your job, your family, your responsibilities, they'll fill every moment of your day if you let them. And while these things are important, they shouldn't come at the expense of your growth and well-being. Remember, when you invest in yourself, when you take the time to align your energy, move your body, and expand your mind, you become a better version of yourself, and that benefits everyone around you. You have more to give, more energy, more love, and more wisdom. So I encourage you to experiment. Try waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. for a week and see how it feels. If it doesn't work, adjust and find a time that does. The key is taking action and committing to your growth. Now let's consider what might happen as you continue this practice over time. This isn't just about feeling good in a moment, it's about creating lasting change in your life. As you consistently meditate, visualize your ideal future, and feel the emotions of already living that life, you're literally rewiring your brain, creating new neural pathways that support your goals and desires. Over time, you may notice that positive thoughts and emotions come more naturally to you, that you're more optimistic and resilient. As you move your body mindfully each day, you're not only enhancing your physical health, but also deepening your connection with yourself. You might become more attuned to your body's signals, more aware of what you need to feel your best. This can lead to healthier choices throughout your day, in what you eat, how you work, and how you rest. And as you commit to learning something new each day, you're not just gaining knowledge. You're training your brain to be more adaptable and flexible. You're fostering curiosity and openness, which can lead to greater creativity in your work, more empathy in your relationships, and a deeper engagement with the world around you. Together, these practices create a powerful synergy. They support and reinforce each other 
creating an upward spiral of growth and transformation. But this transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's not about dramatic, sudden changes. It's about small, consistent actions that build up over time. It's about showing up for yourself day after day, even when you don't see immediate results. Think of it like planting a garden. When you first plant the seeds, nothing appears to happen. For days, even weeks, you might not see any visible change. But beneath the surface, things are happening. The seeds are germinating, roots are growing. If you keep watering and nurturing your garden, eventually you'll see sprouts, then leaves, then flowers, and finally fruit. Your personal growth works the same way. These daily practices are like planting seeds in the garden of your life. At first, you might not notice dramatic changes, but if you stay consistent and keep showing up for yourself, incredible things will begin to unfold. You might find that you're managing stress better, becoming more patient with your loved ones, and feeling more focused and productive at work. These might seem like small changes initially, but they build up, they compound, and create a ripple effect that impacts every part of your life. Here's something truly exciting. As you continue this practice, you might start to experience what some people call flow states or peak experiences. These are moments when you feel fully alive, completely present, and deeply connected to yourself and the world around you, when your actions feel effortless, and you're operating at your highest potential. These experiences aren't reserved for elite athletes or enlightened monks. They're available to all of us and become more frequent and accessible as we consistently raise our energy and expand our awareness through practices like these. Now, I want to address something that might come up as you begin this journey. You might face resistance, not just from within yourself, but from those around you. Friends or family members might not understand why you're waking up so early or question why you're dedicating so much time to these practices, and that's okay. Remember, you're doing something extraordinary. You're stepping out of the norm, out of the collective mindset that keeps so many people stuck in lives they don't truly love. It's natural for this to cause some friction, but don't let that hold you back. Don't let anyone else's doubts or confusion derail you from your path, because here's the truth. As you transform yourself, you inspire others. As you step into your power, you give others permission to do the same. You might find that over time, the people around you become curious about what you're doing. They might notice the changes in you, your increased energy, your deeper sense of peace, your ability to handle challenges with grace, and they might want to know your secret. When that happens, share your experience. Tell them about the power of these early morning practices and invite them to join you. Because the more of us who commit to this kind of personal growth and transformation, the more we can elevate the collective consciousness of our world. Imagine a world where more people start their day by aligning their energy, moving their bodies mindfully, and expanding their minds. Imagine how that could transform our families, our communities, our workplaces, our entire world. But it all begins with you, with your decision to make the most of those early morning hours, with your commitment to your own growth and transformation. So here's my challenge to you. The next time you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., don't go back to sleep. Instead, get up and try these three practices. Meditate and visualize your ideal future, move your body mindfully, and learn something new. Do this for a week and see how it feels. Notice the changes in your energy, your mood, your focus, Pay attention to how it affects your interactions with others, your performance at work, and your overall sense of well-being. If it resonates with you, keep going. Make it a daily practice. Commit to it for a month, three months, or a year. See how it transforms your life. Remember, you have within you everything you need to create the life you desire. You have the power to shape your reality, to go beyond your limitations, and to become the best version of yourself. These early morning practices are tools to help you access that power, to help you step into your true potential. So, embrace those early wake-ups. See them not as an inconvenience, but as an opportunity, an invitation to growth, to transformation, to a life beyond your wildest dreams. You are capable of so much more than you realize. 
Within you lie vast reservoirs of energy, creativity, and love. These practices are keys to unlocking those reservoirs, to accessing the fullness of who you truly are. So go forth with courage, with commitment, and with excitement. Embrace the magic of those early morning hours. Use them to transform yourself, and in doing so, to transform your world. Remember, every great journey begins with a single step, and your journey begins the next time you wake up, between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Will you answer the call? Will you seize the opportunity? The choice is yours, and I believe in you. I believe in your power to create extraordinary changes in your life. So here's to new beginnings, to early mornings filled with possibility, to you stepping into your power and creating the life you've always dreamed of. The journey starts now. Are you ready?